Hello, and welcome to Ideal's Virtual Data Room. My name is Jonathan, and I'll show you how to set up and activate the Q&A section for your project. Data Room administrators can set up the Q&A section according to their project requirements in the Q&A tab. To get started, click Set Up Q&A section. In the first step, select the Q&A roles that will best fit your project workflow. There are two required Q&A roles. Users with the Question Submitter role are authorized to submit new questions to the answer side. The answer coordinator is responsible for providing answers and managing Q&A in general, having access to all Q&A threads and their activity. On the question side, there is one optional role, Question Drafter. Users with this role can propose question drafts that will be reviewed and submitted by the question submitter. On the answer side, you can enable two additional roles. Expert provides answers in their expert area. You can activate auto-assign to experts according to the question categories. To ensure that answers contain only relevant data, the answer approver can review and approve or reject the expert's or answer coordinator's reply before making it available to the question side. In the next step, select which users will participate in Q&A and their respective roles. Please keep in mind that users must be invited to the project in order to participate in Q&A. Question drafters and question submitters are grouped into question teams that can raise new questions to the answer side. Here you can create different question teams and assign selected users to available Q&A roles. Click Assign to select which users will be participating as experts and create respective question categories for which they will be responsible. Assign answer approvers to review and approve answers for submission. Please keep in mind that each user can be assigned to one Q&A role at a time. Once you finish setup, click Activate Q&A. Upon activation, the Q&A section will become visible for the selected Q&A participants. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any additional questions, please feel free to visit our Help Center here or chat with our 24-7 support team.